man, this corner of the basement is so dark. Wait, I have a bright idea. Let's put a new light fixture up here. Rapid Repair DIY. So there's literally just a few parts you'll need to install in a new light fixture to an existing circuit. If you do want it to be switchable, you're gonna do a rectangle box with a new switch, but that's not needed. If you wanna just tie into an existing circuit, you literally just need light fixture boxes. These are only $1, as many as you want for your light fixtures and some type of light fixture. This is literally only $2. These are very, very inexpensive. You can even put LED light fixtures in there. So this is very inexpensive. Of course, you can go as fancy as you want, but this whole Project is very cheap and inexpensive. You can save a lot of money by doing it yourself. You will need some type of Romex electrical wiring. Make sure you pick up the right wiring. You want to match with what is already there in the circuit. Most commonly, it's going to be a 14 gauge thinner wire for just general lighting purposes. But if it's a garage or a workshop, it could be a 20 amp, 12 gauge thicker wire. So you want to match with what is already there. When you trace back the circuit breaker for the lighting fixture you're working on, it will be labeled as either a 15 or a 20 amp. So you literally just look right there 20 amp 15 amp your thicker yellow gauge wiring is for 20 amp circuits and your thinner white 14 gauge wiring is for your 15 amp circuits the most costly part of the project will be the electrical wiring this is the only component that is not cheap all the other components are very cheap and expensive you can definitely do it yourself but the electrical wiring does get expensive this is copper wiring now you buy it in small packages this one is 15 feet the smaller the package the more expensive the wiring will be per foot if you buy larger rolls it will be uh you will save money by more than what you think you will need and you can certainly save it for future projects okay step one you're simply going to install your round electrical boxes for light fixtures in the ceiling wherever you want them as many as you want this is an easy nail in device super easy to use if you look at the side there will be a depth gauge you want it to be proud or stick a little further out of your framing just in case somebody wants to finish it off with drywall or some other ceiling in the future so you'll see we will let that lip extend further than the framing okay right here is a good location for this dark corner of this basement you install it right up to that lip so it sticks further than the floor joist so if somebody ever wants to finish the ceiling they do have the right depth to do that So now you're just going to take your electrical wiring and you're going to get it to that new box that you put in. And there's a plastic little entrance way at the top. So a little bit of persuasion just to get it loose enough. And then pull your wire into your new box 12 inches. That'll be perfect. Now you're going to throw your Romex wiring the direction of your existing light fixture that you're tying into. You are required to staple your electric wire within 12 inches of your new box and then within every four and a half feet of the run. Okay, inevitably you will come to an area where you have to drill through the framing. You do not want to run the wires beneath your framing. You do want to drill through the center of your framing. Next, I took the Romex wire and I fished it right through our new hole and pulled it through. Remember to always drill through the middle of your framing. Do not drill on the very top or the very bottom. Best practice is always right through the middle. Okay, now remember you are required to have a staple within 12 inches of every box. Okay, we turned off the power to this circuit. Your new wire tie in into the existing light circuit. Go ahead and give yourself 12 inches past the box so you have enough length there and you just cut that to size. And then we're going to remove the previous light fixture. Okay, and this one, you can actually spin it and just drop it down. Okay, there's your blacks, your hots, and your neutrals. They already used all the terminal screws. So we will have to make what's called a piggy tail connector into the light fixture to connect our new to our existing wiring. So I took off two of the existing wires off the light fixture with my new wire 12 inches in the box. Go ahead and cut off the, the sheathing. That's the outer protective coating. And then expose your terminals. You're gonna have three black, white, and the ground. That's why this type of wiring is called 14-2 with ground. The 14 is the size of the wiring. Okay, so you are not allowed to do two wires per screw. So we have to make what's called a piggy tail to take this wiring into the light fixture. So I'm gonna cut the new wiring. You can actually save that for later. We can reuse that with our new peg tail. And then you're gonna strip off the right amount of insulation. Straighten the existing wire if it had a hook in it. If it was really bent crazy, you can actually cut it and just strip off a new straight piece of wiring. Okay, now for electrical caps, I like to twist the wires. You will need a third wire to strip. I'll go ahead and just do both ends while we're here. 
And then for your new connection, I like to pre-twist all the wires. So you want to have them approximately the same length or pretty close. And then you want to pre-twist. Now the electrical cap manufacturers will say you don't have to pre-twist it. You can just go right to the caps. But I've always noticed you get a better connection if you pre-twist. Now if you put the electrical cap on at this point, it won't grab or bite properly. So you do have to snip off the edge of the wire so they're the exact same length. Now go to your electrical cap. Electrical caps come in different sizes, meaning the colors, but the larger size wiring will accept more connections and the, ba the bags do clearly label how many wires you can put of what size in each cap so we'll go ahead and join that nice and tight and now we're going to do the same thing with the white or neutral wire strip that off i'm using klein wire strippers these will last many many years it is a good trusted name brand people love klein electrical tool tools this one does cutting, wire splicing, and pliers. Okay, we're gonna twist those wires again. Snip off the edge so they're all the same thickness and get an electrical cap on there. Okay, now we have our exposed piggy tail ends and that's what goes right into your light fixture. This is the only safe proper way to do it. You don't want two or more wires per screw. And you're gonna give just a, a tiny little bend to the wire to go under that screw and the black wire. So the direction coming into any screw, you do want it kind of clockwise. When you tighten that down, you do want it to pull in the wiring even tighter. So don't go counterclockwise. It'll pull the wire out as you tighten the screw. With the grounds all now connected from the existing wiring to the new, the hot and the neutrals all connected, we are ready to fold in our, our piggy tails, our new connections, and our light fixture into the workbox. The more wires you're adding, sometimes the tighter it'll get. Your electrical workbox will be rated for a maximum number of wires. Okay, now let's do the final connection at the new light fixture. All right, now finally onto the new light fixture. You feel like you're making progress. Expose all the wiring, cut away the excess sheathing. Okay, we are good there. So you got your three conductors for your new fixture, Klein wire strippers. And then the new fixture has screws surprisingly identical to the old one. <laughs> so you're just gonna put a little bit of a twist in each wire. Now this type of fixture will not have a separate ground connector. It's just going to be the hot and the neutral, no ground. So you can actually just take your, your ground wire in this application in a plastic box and you're actually just going to tuck it right up in there, way up high, as high as possible in that box. So it never will come down and touch a conductor. Uh, if it was a metal box, you would have to ground to the metal box, but this one is plastic. Insert the black into the gold screw and tighten her down. Okay, now all of our connections are made. You can just gently fold up your wires into the electrical box. The screws did come with the electrical fixture. Um, you actually can save a little bit of time by screwing them in partially first, and then the fixture will actually just go through the holes and you can twist and it will grab on. Now with the screws pre-threaded, it actually makes your job easier because as you tuck in and fold up those wires, you can just put the fixture right through the holes. There you go. And then you just twist the fixture and it is on and you're just going to tighten on those screws. That's a lot easier than putting in the screws at this point. Now at this point, good job. You're ready to put in the light bulb and test your circuit. If you've done it correctly, it will turn on and, and work properly. These LED light fixture bulbs are an awesome example of what you want in a workshop garage or any dark space they used to be 30 to 50 dollars i remember that when these first came out they're adjustable now they're literally five dollars or so this particular pack i'll put the link in the description it was at menards and it was literally only five dollars so this is what they look like guys it has the standard light bulb that you're looking for, the base, but it's LED integrated. And these are fully adjustable so you can change the direction of your lights. Let's put this in and put it to the test. What's brilliant about these LED light fixtures is they use very little electricity. So it's soft on your energy bill and they also come with standard bases so you can screw them into any existing light socket and they are completely adjustable. Look at that. Okay, let's flip on the light switch. 
angle it any way you want. There's your new LED light fixture. This basement has improved a thousand percent. Guys, I love this project. This basement has improved a thousand percent. Much better light, much more functional. Hey, I bet you can do it yourself.